Thank you, Zeke. Uh, we're looking at this 93, we said is a double topish idea. We know that the support box is this green box. Um, we are understanding that this white box over here is the middle fighting box and then our resistance box, we said will be up here at the top. Uh, on a five minute chart, which we're looking at, it's still inconclusive that we're going to get any new lows. We're working with the idea of our 89 zone is going to be our um, angel. And we said trend traders will look to hit the bounces, although it's inconclusive that we will be making any uh, new lows today. Uh, I do respect Zeke's opinion that who knows what is going on in the world with um, <clears throat> wars and potential wars and how that will affect the market. Traders are going to have to assess their risk. We know that this is seasonally a, a weaker time of year, typically. NQ has been been very weak. We're keeping an eye on that. Seek has uh, certainly reminded us of that this morning that this would give the edge to, to selling as opposed to buying today. And that has proven to be very true. Um, still thinking that we have limited opportunity this afternoon. We've had a <laughs> umbrella trade, a sharp bounce, double bottom test, Bounce up, retest that initial high. That's still, even though it's a tick or two above it, still a double top idea. Anybody wants trend trades should be hitting the bounce and hoping for a little bit more. That said, best opportunities probably are gone for today in terms of best odds, risk and reward. And as usual, we get into the afternoon trades. You want to think a little bit more conservatively especially if you're a day trader. Um, Zeke had talked to us earlier this morning about Apple. And I, I think right now, seasonally, this is a time of year when if you're going to get weakness, we had said that last week, this is the time to expect it. Um, we said going forward, we are going to remind ourselves of the 86 and a quarter. As a prior target and as a prior high area on that previous contract, uh, that was about two points higher at 88. On this contract, it was 86 and a quarter, <clears throat> which we had identified as a uh, high odds target, and we said anything above that would be the gravy. And then we identified 2508 and a quarter as the likely resistance zone. So far, we are inside that area, primarily. Stops down, anybody that is short. My golf coach used to say, you're never too short as long as your feet touch the ground. He was about the size of Danny DeVito. That's why he kept saying that. And anybody that is taking a re-entry trade, if you did, look to make sure you're paid into 88. 88 and a quarter. Original T1 for today. <laughs> was 89.75 area. So we're, we're attempting to test that again. Anybody's had a good day. Make sure you paid lock something for sure. Afternoon trades tend to be a little bit more subdued usually.
Thank you, Zeke.